So um, do you think that there's any person that is alive today or that has ever been alive that has ever transcended it enough that he's always been awake since that moment or is that not a thing? Because it's, it's an interesting question. Yeah, it is an interesting question. I would like know, to know who that is. And actually, like, you know, we would like, we're quite fascinated by, by that. And uh, in the Chinese um, Chan tradition, it's very clearly discussed that, you know, um, the, the people like to think that the enlightenment experience is the end, but it really is, is the beginning of actual practice. Many people, oh, I practice so hard, you know, and then like, you get to enlightenment. It's like, and then if you um, encounter a, a, a very a, a popular discussion of the uh, process of practice, the, the ox herding picture, there's 10 pictures, uh, the enlightenment experience is the third picture. It's like after that, there are seven yeah. for you to on the path of cultivation. And so, um, and also this idea of um, enlightenment experience versus cultivation towards Buddhahood. Um, really, it's about now you are, um, you are ab- capable of seeing clearly sort of how your mind makes mistakes that cause yourself suffering and also cause other people to suffer when you say unkind things, when you're being inconsiderate, when you're being selfish. Um, but those are very entrenched habits. We might know we do that, but we still keep doing that. Um, um, and we can stop ourselves in the track of it when we are able to be very mindful. But um, you will see that, you know, there in the uh, sutra talking about some, you know, uh, our hearts, they might have st- still the, these habits, like these have, have their personality. And uh, so the cultivation is a long row of really getting ourselves to work with our habits that cause ourselves suffering and cause problems for others. And sort of like this um, slow, uh, this steady practice of uh, perfection. And uh, so that is, that's why um, the goal using like med- uh, or using Enlightenment as the goal, um, you know, it's okay in the beginning, but after a while, one uh, should know clearly that that is really just one, part, just part of the practice. Yeah, so, and then after that, it's like really serious practice. Want more? Click here for the full interview. Click here for more awesome clips, or here for the full episode. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi, I'm Kevin and this is Giovanna. We're traveling around the world talking to spiritual masters about meditation and awakening. Join us on our adventures. All you have to do is click subscribe.